Hi, this is Marcia, and this is part three of the Coaching Building Blocks for Blended Learning. Today's focus is going to be working on data. Hi, welcome back. I'm super excited that you're joining us. And today we're going to be talking about how to use data to really drive your small group instruction and to really teacher, push our teachers to that next level. So let's begin by looking at what part one was talking about. Part one was talking about reflective planning and how to look back to see where studios might fit after deploying one year of studios. Then we talked about consistency. In part two, we talked about always being consistent. How do you, are you consistent to using studios. And now we're going into the next level up coaching block, which is data focus. When we are deploying our studios, we really want to think about being consistent, but also using data to drive our instruction. So the consistency part was talking about two days where we're doing a two day checklist and the students are working at their own pace, place and path. Now what we want to do is we really want to be using the data to drive our small groups. So this is how I set it up. Yes, I put this on a note card. You can print it out, but I love little note cards or post-it note note cards that I use to create this game plan for me and my teachers when we're in small group instruction. So first and foremost, on the note card, I'm going to make sure I have my learning target and I'm going to have a small group exit ticket. I'm going to pause right here and I'm going to talk to you about why small group exit tickets. Small group exit tickets are a chance for you to see in the moment what those students know. Do they understand that learning target? Can they answer that one question? Also, in doing this exit ticket in the small group is going to ensure that it's the students completing that content, not maybe a friend or an AI tool. So we can really use that small group exit ticket to give us true formative data on what the students know. All right, now, the next thing I do is I plan for three leveled groups, high, on-level, and struggling. And I always plan with my high group first. That way I can really push the bar to that next level. Here we go. Here's an example of a note card that I would print out or have with me at my small group. So again, we're writing out our learning objectives. And when we sit down to plan our small group instruction, I literally make them write, the teachers write down what does the standard say. Next, we highlight the key words to focus in on. Making inference, draw a conclusion. We're talking about poetry. They need to be able to explain the type of figurative language to get the meaning of the poem. So I, no, no joke, we highlight those key parts because when you're in the moment of a small group, you always want to make sure that focus is on that learning target. Next, we write out our exit ticket. What is it that we want our students walking away with? And then I start to plan out my leveled groups. I start with my high flyers like I talked about, and my high flyers are going to be a lot more open-ended questions. All right, we're going to read this poem. What do you think? What do you see? What do, what do you think is, why is this the type of figurative language? Very open-ended versus more teaching. My on-level, I'm going to be doing, we're going to read together, we're going to have open-ended questions, but then we're going to do a quick little sorting activity to get them ready. So can they sort out the different types of figurative language? Then my struggling group, we're going to actually do the same thing. We're going to be reading a poem, but we're going to be using anchor charts. We're going to be doing the sorting activity, and we're going to be doing one together to really hold in. Can they find and explain the figurative language meaning in the poetry? So I really like to have my small groups data focused. If we look at the deployment plan and we come back to where we want to push our team for the year two, we want to be implementing data meetings. Those data meetings are so invaluable, like are so valuable. <laughs> They're extremely valuable. And this fact is that we get to know exactly where our students are and what they're working on. Part three, becoming more data focused is a great building block for coaches to get our team to really use the data from formative and summative assessments to really push and to keep our students moving while they're in the other learning studios.